Well, I'm here hanging out at Toronto Public Library, and I just wanted to let you know Tara has got a really great story for you. Something about a rutabaga? Thanks, Rufus. I'd like to share a wonderful story called Roslyn Rutabaga and the Biggest Hole on Earth. Written and illustrated by Marie-Louise Gay and published by Groundwood Books. Roslyn the Rabbit plans to dig the biggest hole on Earth. Let's find out together if she succeeds. Roslyn Rutabaga woke up with a plan. Today, she would dig the biggest hole on Earth. Not a tiny mouse hole. Not a medium-sized rabbit hole. The biggest hole on Earth. Maybe she would dig right down to the other side of the world. Maybe she would find a pirate's treasure. Who knows? Anything could happen. Rosalind thumped, 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 thumped downstairs to breakfast. What are you going to do today, Rosalind? asked her father. Rosalind munched loudly on her carrot flakes. I'm going to dig the biggest hole on earth, she announced. Sounds like a good idea, said her father. I might dig all the way to China, she said, or even to the South Pole. I'd really like to meet a penguin. You'd better take a sweater, said her father. It gets pretty cold at the South Pole. Will you be back in time for lunch, called her father. Of course, answered Rosalind, and she ran outside. Roslyn looked around for the perfect spot to dig the biggest hole on earth. Not too rocky, not too near the oak tree, definitely not in her father's prize-winning carrot bed. Aha, thought Roslyn, right here in the middle of the lawn. She started to dig. Whoa, there, yelled a worm. What in the world do you think you're doing? I'm digging the biggest hole on earth, sir answered Rosalind. This is my front yard, shouted the worm. You can't dig your big old hole here, you silly rabbit. Rosalind blushed. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, she said. I'll dig it somewhere else. The worm muttered angrily as he wriggled back down into the earth. Rosalind Rutabaga carefully filled up the hole. She started digging in another spot, near the fence. She dug and dug. Then a mole appeared, blinking in the sunlight. What are you doing in my bedroom? He grumbled. I'm digging the biggest hole on earth, she said. What on earth for? asked the mole. I want to go to the South Pole, said Rosalind, to meet a penguin or two. Listen, said the mole, I dig holes all the time. Small ones, big ones. I'm a hole specialist, and I can tell you... There are no penguins down there. That's because he hasn't dug the biggest hole on earth, thought Rosalind. You woke me up, added the mole. Now I'm in a bad mood. I'm dreadfully sorry, said Rosalind. I'll dig somewhere else. Penguins, muttered the mole. What next, elephants? He burrowed back into his sandy bed. In a moment, he was snoring. Rosalind sighed. This was not going to be easy. Rosalind Rutabaga decided to dig the hole near the lilac bush. She looked around, no one in sight. She stamped the ground, no angry worm, no grouchy mole. She dug and dug and dug. Soon all you could see were the tips of Rosalind's ears. This will be the biggest, most beautiful hole in the world, thought Rosalind. People will line up to admire it. She dug faster. Maybe I'll find gold, she thought. Or maybe I'll find a dinosaur bone, Rosalind cried. She examined the bone. Rosalind was very excited. She would be famous. I'm sure this is a Triceratops' big toe bone, she said. It is not, barked a dog. I buried that bone last week. I got it at the butcher's, and I know he doesn't sell dinosaur bones. Rosalind threw the bone up to the dog. Thanks, barked the dog, and dig somewhere else. You're wrecking my bone cupboard. Rosalind lay in the bottom of the hole. She sighed heavily. She would never dig the biggest hole on earth, ever. 
My, said Roslyn's father, this must be the biggest hole in the universe. Roslyn, are you down there? Yes, whispered Roslyn. I can hardly see you, said her father. You must be hungry. Shall we eat lunch? Okay, answered Roslyn, but bring your sweater. It is really cold at the South Pole. Do you think penguins like carrot sandwiches, asked Roslyn. I don't know, answered her father. As soon as we see one, we'll ask. Rosalind smiled. She couldn't wait to meet a penguin. Back to you, Rufus. Oh, that was a great story, Tara. Thank you so much. I love it when the whole thing comes together. 